I go back to that moment, I don't know how to relive it because it happened, uh, uh, as I said, just in the moment itself. Uh, what do I say to you? Uh, people tend to judge you by an impression they have of you, by what they know and see of you, but nobody really, really knows who the real person is behind any of the projected intent of that social public figure. We've always put out a version of ourselves, right? That's what our job is. When we give an interview or we promote a product, a film, you're out there, uh, we protect our vulnerabilities. But then at one point of time, you, you grow older, you grow wiser, you evolve, and you, you feel like sharing a piece of your life is not as scary as it used to be. I've already written a book when I was 43 years old, which was 80% which was of, of what I could share. There is always a 20% that we'll hold back, and it's our prerogative too, because that will remain with our hearts forever. That moment was true, because it is true. There is, uh, I have two children. Obviously, um, uh, I'm, I'm co-parenting them with my mom, not with a partner. And that means that I have a single status. And that single status is occupied, um, is filled in with a lot of work. Uh, I push in so much work in the day that I don't think about that status. And that's what we all do when you're single and you're lonely and you're perhaps not wanting to address that loneliness. You pack in your day with things because you want to distract yourself from the core. And then you believe that if you have great friendships and a great family life, it can actually compensate for the lack of a passionate, intense, romantic relationship. Nothing can replace that. You must understand, life is full of boxes. You know, parents fill one, children fill the other, friends fill the other. Um, but there is a box for an intense, love, romantic relationship that if you don't experience, there is a sense of incompleteness that nothing can ever fulfill. And that loneliness can actually really kind of consume you and, and it has consumed me. And I have not been in a, in a relationship for very many years, a decade and more, and only I know what that really feels like. Fortunately for me, I can live vicariously through cinema. Uh, I can create those stories that I, and characters that perhaps that I would like to kind of either romantically be inclined with or, or just fulfill that part of love and romance in my life. Not everybody has uh, that leverage. I am a filmmaker, I'm a storyteller. What I can't experience, I can write and, and execute on celluloid. And that to me is my biggest privilege, that of being a filmmaker. Yeah, can we just take a minute? Thank you for that amazing question. I don't have to do it with me. I have been sitting on the couch a lot. I don't have to do it with me. Other people come and make their lives. They get married. Everything happens. Their relationships are successful. They are successful. I have been sitting on the couch and I have asked a lot of things. They don't get it. They don't get it. I want to tell you that manifestation only works one way. There are three people on this couch. We'll do it quickly so I can. Hi. I have said this, uh, I've been asked by the team much more than I've said it to cut things out. Uh, I have actually never wanted to cut stuff out because I feel like everybody else protects your interests much more than I have myself. I've kept things that maybe in retrospect I shouldn't have, but I feel like when somebody comes and says something and I have it, uh, a natural response, I, I have to keep it all. You know, we cut out the... the boring banter which actually don't add up to anything. But things of consequence we've never cut out and I have never asked to remove anything that I have said that is too personal or perhaps sometimes maybe an opinion that I feel will have repercussions and ramifications. It's all there. And there's proof of that. You've seen it. You've seen stuff that you could turn around and tell me, Are you rakhak you? We're still wearing the brunt of it. But I said, I've kept it. I've kept it because they are your guests. 
यो वो आपके मेहमान है वो आके कुछ कहते हैं दिल से कहते हैं दिमाग से कहते हैं और जो भी कहते हैं उन्होंने कहा है मैं वो नहीं निकाल सकता दैट्स द वे आई रिस्पेक्ट अ गेस्ट ऑन कॉफी विद करण यस मैम ओ इमेंसली आई आई मे आई मिस बट आई जस्ट नो दैट इफ देयर इज एनी मेगा स्टार इन आवर हु हैज अर्न हिज राइट to speak when he needs to it's sharuk khan and i have all the people Woo! being his closest friend and family you should understand that i just absolutely knew that you know everyone says that you know i have i have that leverage because he's family to me that i can ask him a request and he's never said no to me and i don't want so i never asked because i know that he didn't want to be in that dilem dilematic kind of like situation where he have to say no to me Like whenever I'm asked, so I pick and choose what I ask for because, like, he's somebody that matters the world to me. He's family to me. He's my older brother. He's everything. And I feel like I know when the right time is there, I will ask him. And I know when he has to want to speak, he will. And when he does, I know it will be extraordinary because no one gives interviews better than Charu Khan. Nobody speaks better than him when he speaks on a global platform or on a national platform. He is just the wizard of words. and the and and truly truly the emperor of not just entertainment on screen but also off screen and a lot of our collective love for him is because of the man that he has been to us off screen you know so he love him as every character from raj to jawan but like the sharukh khan that we all know i mean you can i don't know a single person that will be in a room with him and not walk out of the room with me or absolutely in love with him like that i i mean i see i don't miss because i have coffee with karan daily every night so i every 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 i have daily every evening sharu ko kori me and his family we meet so i'm having those conversations i i I understand why you would miss him, but I am satiated because he is a big, huge part of my daily existence and life. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in here. Thank you. You know, I have to just end by saying that uh, firstly, thank you. Thank you for always being so kind and gracious. Thank you for always being um, like so vibrant and also so energized that you give that energy to the person you're sitting next to. Thank you to Disney Plus All Star and special mention to uh, Gaurav Banerjee and his entire team who have been so absolutely amazing. Uh, right through the journey of Coffee with Karan to Mr. Madhavan who actually um, he's been our guiding light at Disney Plus All Star and to Janvi and the entire team of Coffee with Karan to everyone my marketing team to Nilofer to all of them who have been stalwarts and pillars of Coffee with Karan and have stood tall. Um, And, and special thanks to even Len who has been with me right through, uh, and like also big thanks to all of you, uh, you know, who actually given the show love. Even when, even when I've read large columns of criticism on on the episode, I'm like, wow, somebody took so much time to dissect a talk show, and I'm like, that is so gratifying to even read like. And like I'm like this th this particular episode bored me to tears, but why are you writing five pages on it? Like if it bored you to tears, then why have you written so much? Like if it bored you to tears, you should switch it off. You have that remote in your hand. Uh, but I'm very gratified by the love, the criticism, the analysis, and also the consistency of the fact that 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 maybe. If all else fails, I know I'll always be a host on Coffee with Karan. It's it's a great it's great solace for me to be. Thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, Karan. Guys, it's pretty simple. I mean, this industry used to wake up on Friday mornings, but you made it Thursday morning. So thank you so much for doing. Actually, Wednesday midnight. Wednesday midnight, guys. Wednesday midnight. Wednesday midnight. Of course. Because this Wednesday midnight, you don't have anything to see. Uh, oh, you saw it. You saw. It. You saw. It. Yeah, okay, watch it. Yeah. Well, I mean, like if you can watch it, it would be lovely if you tune into another platform and watch Rock Your Rani again. Also, <laughs> it would be lovely. It would make my heart even happier. I'm not mentioning that platform because then you know what will happen. Mr. Jawar, we love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.